Nowadays, every human on Earth is the same species, Homo sapiens sapiens. But it wasn't always that way, as 300,000 years ago, we Homo sapiens shared the Earth with an estimated eight other species of humans. Today, all of those species except ours have gone extinct, either dying off or being bred out of existence. But what if they hadn't? What if Homo sapiens weren't the only sentient beings on the planet? Well, first of all, it's important to note that a situation where modern humans share the planet with other species of human requires two big changes to occur. First, we Homo sapiens don't expand as rapidly as we did in our own time. And second, we don't interbreed with the other species of human. These are not small concerns, because the fossil record shows us the globalization by Homo sapiens happened very fast. In just 80,000 years, we Homo sapiens spread to every continent in the world except Antarctica. DNA analysis clearly shows that our ancestors interbred with other human species like Neanderthals and Denisovans. And in order for other human species to survive to the modern day, they would need time in isolation and to stay distinctly different from our own. Unfortunately, segregation and separation leads to prejudice and eventually to racism. In the very earliest days of human history, we were spread out in isolated pockets around the globe. Spending extended periods of time around people who are exclusively like you makes people believe that their way of living, their looks, their culture are the only correct way. Basically, they aren't like us, so they are lesser or evil. But as human populations grew and expanded, it was only a matter of time before they began to come in contact and to interact with each other. Conflicts led to war, war led to animosity, and animosity led to racism. Homo sapiens meeting and interacting with other species of humans would ultimately lead to conflicts. Physically, many of our hominin cousins were stronger, faster, and more rugged than we were. But it's thought that our more dexterous fingers and our more refined brains gave our ancestors the edge in any such conflict. It is entirely possible that Homo sapiens would conquer and subjugate all the other human races of the Earth, and that the face of racism in the modern day changes more to a speciesism. But the fossil record shows us that we are far more likely to do exactly what we have already done, namely, breed with them until the species' lines become so blurry that they disappear altogether. So today, there's only one species of human. But that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. As a matter of fact, isolation for any protracted period facilitates speciation. If we humans didn't have a wanderlust and trade routes, it's entirely possible and even likely that the various races of Homo sapien in the world today might actually diverge enough to make them wholly different species of modern humans. Today we live in a global world, and we can travel to anywhere on the planet in a matter of hours. And this globalization and interracial breeding is affecting a new change in our species to bring these different races together just as our ancestors gathered the other species of human into our own genome. But as we extend our reach into space, into new worlds of isolation, we look to a future where there might once again be multiple species of humans. What has allowed our species to spread and ultimately to outlast the other humans that came before us is our ability to think and adapt. So always keep your eyes and mind open, and always be creative. Thanks for watching.